not look good. Who checked the alarms? Really? You're supposed to be my good one. Well, sit down. What happened? Mmm, got a little cocky. I can see that. Look at you go. Well, it looks like... Oh. Did you get hacked? What's my one rule? Don't get hacked. How did they catch you? Oh, look at you. Aw. You were trying to do some tricks. Yeah, that wasn't smart. Hold still. <sighs> oh, it looks like... Looks like we're gonna have to do a full neuro wipe if you want to keep control of your body. It's fine. We can do it. Happens to the best of us. I just have to give you a little bit of teasing. You know, you were my prodigy. I was thinking that you weren't going to have any problems with this, but... Happens to the best of us. So, let me pull up the procedure and... You just try to relax. Take note of what's going on in your body, and that may help us narrow down what all got hacked. All right? Seriously, it's fine. Do you know how many times I've had to do a full neural wipe? Like a lot. Okay. Give me just a second. Alright, let me just check. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, we're going to have to assess the extent of the damage before my computer really can give us a good a good white procedure so i need you to follow my instructions and i need you to follow them carefully this is very very important okay all right so firstly we need to test if there is any problems with your range of movement and the nerves along the body, okay? So if you could just move your head down for me, tuck in your chin, mm -hmm. and go back, stretch out the neck. Okay, you do that again, down, and back. Good, down, and back. Is there any weakness in any of that movement? No. So let's tilt the head this way. Good. And the other way. Mm-hmm. Do that 
a few more times. And once more. Good, and turn the head to one side and the other. The other. Good, last time. And the other. Okay, and any weakness in any of that does any of it feel like you don't have control over the movement? No. Good. So, hopefully, it hasn't spread to the head. I'm hoping that it's just a minor hack and maybe your fingers are a little goofy or maybe the feet, but we'll just have to run through and see see where we're at. So if you could shrug your shoulders for me. Good. Hold them back. Right. Stretch the chest. Hold them back. back. Very good. And can you move your arms up for me? Good. Mm hmm. Good. And can you bring them all the way in front of you? And can you move your arms up and down from the elbows? Good. Yep. Fighting stance, right? And what about the fingers? Can we move all of them? Those move just fine. Good. And the wrists. Give them a turn for me. Excellent. So upper body starting to look like maybe it's clear. Could you give me a twist to one side? Just as much in the lower body as you can in the hip. Mm hmm Good. Mm -hmm. Right, one more time. There. Any weakness, anything feel off, not yourself. No. Give me just a moment. Since we've processed the upper body, I want to get that put in. So far, it's looking fine. Might even be a false alarm. Just to slow us down. <sighs> Parkour, huh? Parkour got you into this. Parkour will definitely not get you out. So far, we're doing all right. So now, let's move on to the legs a little bit. Can you lift your legs up? Right, mostly we're looking at the hip to knee movement, so even just raising them up, not necessarily the whole leg. Good. 
Good, and can you kick your legs out towards me? So now we're working on the knee out. Can you move each leg out towards the side? So if your legs aren't usually like this, move them out. out. Like that. You could do one at a time. That might be a little easier. If you could just do that for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't have to do the full three. Just enough for you to feel if it seems natural to you. All good. Could you roll your ankles a little bit for me? Good. And move your feet up and down. And wiggle your toes. Good. And can you cock your feet out to the side? There we go. Okay. That looks great. So, looks like most of the motor function should be fine. How are you feeling currently in terms of you're still here. Is there anything else that's a little strange? Okay, hold that thought. Let me see. Mm, okay, so lower extremities look clear. Let's bring it back. So the breathing feels a little irregular, feels a little uneven. All right, so I am going to have you take some deep breaths with me and we're going to try to fill your lungs to capacity and let them all the way out. We'll just do this a couple of times because that might make you feel like you're hyperventilating a little, but we just want to make sure that you have full capacity, okay? All right, take a deep breath in. And out. Okay, and where do you feel that in your body when it comes in? Is it just in your chest? Is it just in your stomach? Do you feel it in your back? Okay, so we want to try to feel that our chest is not expanding as much as our abdomen is. And we also want to feel our back expand as well. Take a deep breath in. And out. How's that? All right, let's try one more time. Deep breath in. And out. How are we doing? Okay, so I think that was just a little bit of panic. Don't worry, we will get this fixed and even the most complex hacker bugs I can squish without too much hassle. Okay, just might take a little bit. Right. So you just keep working on your breathing. We want it to be even and smooth. We don't want it to be uneven, right? Just do your best. We'll get this figured out. Okay, so lung capacity was pretty good. Hmm. No, that does not seem to be affected by the hack at all. So, I 
I think that should be, that should be ticked off our list, okay? All right, now there are some other tests I can do. So we've got our motor nerves that seem to be just fine, but we do want to check in on those sensory nerves, okay? And I do want to do a little sweep of your brain. So we'll give that a moment. Tell me a little bit about how it is that you managed to get caught then. I've seen the footage, but that only gives me a little bit of the picture. And otherwise I don't have context. So what I thought was happening was just a routine sweep, right? So where is it that I've got you biffing it and falling straight on your face just outside of the control center? Well, there is a problem here in that nobody should be getting this close, right? So what you should have done is diverted them somewhere else, lost them, and if you were going to biff it, maybe do it somewhere else where we don't have photographic evidence. And then once you lose them, then you come back here. So from looking at this, I don't know if we have to move. I'm leaning towards it's better safe to be than to be sorry. Let me let me do just a little calculation. Okay, so it doesn't look like they came near enough to trip the boundary sensor, but that was you. That one's going to be tricky. I think we'll have to talk to the crew about that. Okay. Let's check in on your scan. Well, I am inclined to say that this might be worse than if your motor nerves were hijacked. It looks like your oculomotor and your trochlear and your abducens nerves were hacked into. I'm concerned about vestibular cochlear, but it doesn't look like optic has been compromised yet. That's the one I worry about the most, so. Yeah, we need to, we need to do an override real quick. So I'm going to start the procedure, sit back. We're gonna be in it for a little bit. should be it. All right. We're going to have to do a little bit of testing here and see what we can do. So the object of this is that we want to try to get it so you hijack your hijack nerves. We're going to try to use them as much as possible here so that they get overloaded, basically. Okay? From the hack. Alright, so what we're gonna do 
is I want you to look at this light, all right? Let's How's movement feeling? Is it a little sluggish? Is there a little bit of stickiness to it? Okay, we might be in the early stages. So let's go ahead and bring that diagonally up. Diagonally down, diagonally down, diagonally up, good, and I'm going to come in real close, keep following the light, in, and out, in. How are we doing? Okay, and has any of my talking commands, anything like that, has that sounded different to you than it usually does? Or has it been pretty clear? Okay. And how was your balance when you came in? Yeah. Dignity was a little off balance, but everything else seemed to be fine. Okay. So we'll start with that, I suppose. So I am going to have you follow my instructions and we'll see if we can take back some control here. All right. I want you to focus on this finger. I want you to keep watching it as we move along your vision. It's very gentle. Good. Now if you could look at this finger right here. Mm-hmm. Good. Very good, and don't look at this finger. Just keep looking at the finger you are already looking at. The one that's moving. Okay. Now look at my other finger, and don't look at the one that's moving. Good, and I'm gonna bring this one in and out in and out good just come here here just keep looking at the finger good how many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers? 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 Look at this finger. Don't look at this finger. Don't look at the moving finger. Good. Let's make it a little more interesting. I want you to follow the light as best as you can. We're going to follow my index finger. Good. Good. Just keep doing the best that you can. Alright, 
and I want you to look at the finger that is not lit up. Look at the finger that is not lit up. Go ahead and then look at the finger that is lit up. Follow that with your eyes. Look at the finger that is lit up. Don't look at the other one. Good, now look at this finger. Look at the one that is not lit up. Good. Just keep focusing on the one that is not lit up. It's not moving. Okay. Go in. And out. In. Out. Good. So let's take a pause and let's check in on our scans. Okay, we're making some progress. Let's check in on that vestibulocochlear nerve. I am going to be saying some things into your ear, and I just want you to repeat what you hear to me. Right? being a little stereotypical of me. <laughs> okay. Dystopia. Illusion. Hologram. Typing. Sensors. And how was that? That sound just fine? Okay, I am going to be just very gently doing this little noise cross between a finger rub and a snap. Just tell me which ear you hear the little rubbing, snapping. Mm-hmm. Okay, and if you could just close your eyes for me, and if you could tell me where you think the sound's coming from, I'm gonna be maybe up here, maybe down here, side, the other side, you just let me know where you think that's coming from. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, you can open your eyes. Alright, that looked pretty good. So, so far, vestibulo cochlear looks like we still have some control, right? Yeah, that one's not doing too bad. So, let's get back into moving those eyes around. If you could focus on these fingers here. Just focus on my fingers as best as you can. Good. And focus on these fingers for me. Mm -hmm. Good, I'm gonna come in and out and, and focus on the fingers back here. And out in out okay and just keep following them just keep following them as best as you can might get a little quick do your best. I'm trying to work your eyes a little bit so that we can shake out the egg while the wipe is running. And look at this finger. Good. And this finger. fingers am I holding up? Good. How many fingers? Good. And how many fingers back here? Good. How many fingers? Okay. How many fingers? Good. How many fingers? How many fingers? Good. And how many fingers? How many fingers? How many fingers? Good. I'm gonna have one hand lights on, one hand lights off. Okay, I want you to focus on the one with the lights on, right? Okay, just follow my index finger. I go very gently. could focus on my hand here. Keep focusing on my hand. Keep focusing on my hand. Good. And focus on my hand here. Only focus on my hand.
We're gonna do this with all lights engaged and I want you to pick one of the four lights. Doesn't matter which one, just pick one of them, right? And I want you to follow that one, okay? I want you to follow that one as best as you can. Good. It might come in and out of view. Just do the best that you can. to pick a different light and follow it as best as you can. Just pick a different light. Okay, and I want you to stay focused on that light, okay? Stay focused on whichever light you had already picked. I give you a little bit of complex visual data. Good, and stay focused on whatever light you had already picked. <laughs> it's a little difficult even for me. It's been a while since I've had to do one of these protocols. Okay, and stop. Let's see how we're clocking in. Let's go ahead and test that vestibulocochlear nerve real quick again. Okay, so I just want you to tell me what it is that you hear. Okay. 59, 60, 17, 18, okay, and how was that? Did it differ at all with either, with either side? No, it was just fine. Okay. So, let's do a little bit of that rubbing again, okay? And I am going to have you close your eyes. I'm not going to ask you where the sound is, but I am going to ask you which ear you hear it in, okay? Mm-hmm.
Okay, let's put that on. Okay, the neural wipe's almost complete. And I think we will just work on cranial nerves three, four, and six for the rest of the duration. Try to get that all smoothed out. Right? You ready? Okay, so I want you to focus on these fingers right here. Okay? Do your best to just focus on my fingers right here. Okay, and now look at the moving hand. Watch the hand go back and forth. Good. And now can you look at my nose? Look at my nose. Keep looking at my nose. Best as you can. Focus on my nose. Good. And if you could look at this hand. This hand best as you can. Good. I'm going to have one hand that has a light on it and one hand that does not. I want you to pick one of them that you want to focus on, okay? Yep, you pick. Whichever one you like. Good. And now switch to the other hand. focused on your choice. And switch to the other hand. If you could look at my nose here. Just focus on my nose. Focus on my nose. Focus on my nose. Let's do another little test. 
of how everything's going. Okay. Perfect. Looks like the neural wipe is complete and you should be free and clear. Okay. So you could just do a little scan of your body real quick. Maybe roll the shoulders back or raise the arms, move your feet. Is there any place where you still feel that weakness at all? All right, so the last step of the neural wipe is for you to go to sleep so that your brain can finish working on kicking out that hack and repairing the damage from that, okay? So either you can go to sleep on your own or I can run a little program that makes you feel like you are just watching something but in fact you are actually getting that therapeutic sleep it's up to you let's run the program Gonna have you just relax your body just as it's loading up. Okay, All right on the count of three. One, two, Of God.